All right, all right. Let's check it out. So I got a dropship here, an alien rule set. So I'm gonna put some line of sight on there and a little bit of lighting. So sit back and let's uh, check it out. All right, so first things first, um, using the alien rule set, just kind of playing around with different rule sets to get a hang of the theme. So if I never need to make a map, I can do so. I'm just trying to get familiar with the different looks of the themes and also the different rule sets. Mapping tools should be pretty much the same. What's up, Usman? So the uh, mapping tool should be the same regardless of which rule set you're in. So right now I'm just putting in the line of sight. I have a doorway here, a couple windows. I'm thinking about putting a window up here. Not sure if those are HUD displays or what, but I don't think it's an actual window. Uh, I think those are just HUD displays. There might be a window behind this, but it's hard to say. Um, but that would be actually a pretty unsafe for a win uh, place for a window because of impacts and such. So maybe there's they just rely on the navigation system. But this is like a drop ship. Drop down to an alien planet. And let's center this a little bit. So you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. So this, this ship is basically dropping down, getting ready to land. It's kind of hovering. It's not really dropping as rapidly as it was before. It's already re-entered and cooled a little bit, and it's exhausting out a lot of the heat that it deflected off the bottom of the ship. And down through here is a cargo bay, and obviously back in here is the engine area. I think these two little things here are either their exits or maybe their computers. But there's a big door back here. It's probably a cargo door that leads down to the bottom. So I'm going to put a door on this so that we can unload and load the ship. So right now I am in the rectangle tool and the door tool. And all I'm going to do is just kind of trace something here and follow the contour. So I think I'm going to go into line mode just in case. That's right. So just take this and bring this down here. That's it. There we go. And over here, I'm going to go to selection mode and drag this corner to kind of square it up a little bit. And that's going to be our back hatch for to access in and out of the cargo area. And cannot go without these bathrooms. These are probably the most important thing in this. Because when you uh, drop down, and if you're not used to it, uh, you're probably going to have to throw up or you're going to poop your pants, one or the other. So those two bathrooms are very important. And then this section here is what hauls the soldiers or the, the lab crew, whatever you want to call it. And then up here is the helm with the uh, navigation and the... Uh, you know, the driving of the ship, the piloting. And as you can see, there's some external weapons out here. And it looks like deflection is the main part of this. So all these little um, covers here, these flaps, they're probably to protect the um, people inside from radioactive uh, waves or maybe little meteorites or space junk, who knows. They look like armor panels or some kind of vents, possibly. And then, of course, you have the engines in the back, which are basically blasting some hot or hot steam and hot uh, vapors. As the ship is just landed, it's kind of just hovering, and there's a lot of friction between the uh, the ship and the and the uh, engines in the atmosphere. So it's kind of exhausting right now. <laughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going to finish, I uh, got all the doors, I think. The bathroom doors, the door that goes into the cargo bay. Yep. So now I'm going to start drawing the actual line of sight. And I think I'm going to use the line tool because I don't want to get, get uh, stuck in one mode. I think I'm just going to draw it right on the inside here so we can see all this nice stuff. So I want to go to the wall tool. And I'm going to go to the line tool. And that's going to allow us to bring the lines up and around. And that way um, I'll have a little bit more freedom and flexibility. So if I need to move anything, it won't be so hard. 
yeah, so I've never done any sci-fi really, so I'm just going to give this a shot, see what it, see what we can do with it. So now I'm going to focus in on just this area here, the the, the helm, the pilot area. I'm going to click in this corner, and I'm in the line mode and in wall mode. So just remember what mode you're in. And if you need to change something, you got to switch back to the select tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a corner and just kind of uh, grab these points. When I say these points, I'm talking about in the contour of the map itself. And it doesn't, doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you're going to make mistakes. It's not a big deal. And then I'm going to come back through here and click here where the shadow ends. Might as well keep on going because this is a good start. So there and there. So what I'm going to do with the windows is kind of do something unorthodox. So I'm going to come inside, and then I'm going to click, and then I'm going to come out to this point because it's on the magnetic catch right there. Really curious to see how this is going to work out. But uh gonna keep on going till I can see no more. So I get the outside of this thing done. So this is gonna come out to the end of the ship here. I'm using the arrow keys to kind of help me navigate so I don't have to lift up the mouse or anything like that anytime soon. I think what I'm going to do here is kind of the same thing. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to click here, drop here, and about halfway down, then I'm going to move across, click there, and there. There we go. I like it. So I'm not sure if it's going to work out, but, it, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. No big deal. So here's that, and then I'm going to come back over this way until I reach some sort of problem like that. What's going on with that? Oh, that's just the uh, a darkened area that's not being used, it looks like. Maybe it's uh, extra storage or something. Not going to worry about it. Although, as you can see, I did worry about it. <laughs> And I want to kind of look and see what I did down here. So I went on the outside of that. So it's going to be out here. So here's where the, the joint is. So click there. And come on down through here until I get to this window. I'm going to stop right there. And like I said, I'm going to come back and connect to one of these. Yep, splice right through here. Yeah, it's easier to come, come out this way as opposed to trying to go in like I did before. I'll fix that later. I'm not too worried about it. And then I'm going to come out to about here. And then down to the bridge area. And then you come out here. Let's see what do we got? Yeah, I'm just gonna end it right here and connect it to this. It's a little junction here. 
Alright, not too shabby. A little weird how I did that here. Let's take a look at this over here. You notice I drew that over, and I did that intentionally. So if you click on the Select tool and just click it once and hit this little round remove point, it'll take that little tail off. So that you want to draw over instead of under. That way it's easier to fix. If you draw under, then you have to go and redrag it, and you don't even know what you're doing at that point. So let's take a look at Selection tool. just going to adjust this a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this in a little bit. It's so kind of like I did with the windows. And I'm going to come up here and kind of do the same thing. I'm going to fix this a little bit. I'll get rid of that extra point. See, it made that little tail. That's fine. Let's get rid of that. Here we go. And I'm going to come up and kind of adjust these corners. I'm going to fix the window the way I want it because it's a little bit different than what I did before. So what I'm going to do is bring that in. That's kind of how I did the other window. And I'd be curious to see how this turns out. Once the line of sight is active, I want to see if it's going to actually work or not. There's that. I need to add a couple lines in here in the bathroom, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And the cargo bay probably needs a little bit more love. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a a full wall or not so I'm going to make that terrain so that it's easier to just to remove it maybe I don't know I, it's got to be something that you can go through so maybe I'll put a uh, toggleable wall so that way you can open and close it easier we'll see so I'm going to go back to the line tool and make sure I'm in line of sight the wall tool and I'll start here in the center of this line here and cut through that doorway that's the easiest way to do these things. And just come a little shy and then come back down through here, like so. And then come to a kind of a stop here. And then cut through this wall right here. And then I'm going to come up and end this line here where these chairs are I guess I don't see a wall though so maybe I won't and then I'll come back over this way and connect with this line here instead of trying to make another line that that'll just add to the confusion so like I said I'm just gonna draw over when I hit escape it'll make that third point which is not a big deal just let it happen now this one down here I'm gonna click on this edge and come on down and do the same thing so i'm just going to let it overhang i don't care if it's off a little bit no no big deal and hit escape or you can double click and that gets you out of the drawing tool so basically i've drawn in the lines for the bathrooms and i got to finish this one up here so i'm going to kind of do the same thing i'm going to come up from this point and kind of cross over a little bit and then hit escape and you'll have these little tails, but that's not a big deal. So we're just going to just take those out. And like, if this extra point's not needed, you could take care of that. So I could actually draw in this line. So I'm going to go to the selection tool for a moment. I'm going to move this down a little. Go. And then I'm going to take a line tool, and I'm going to come from there and come all the way down to connect to this point here. So that way... It's all kosher. So this last chair doesn't really have any backing. Huh? 
I think that would be the kind of the worst place to sit, to be honest, because you don't have anything protecting you. If that cargo decides to rup, rupture through that wall, you don't have a whole lot protecting you other than just the doorway. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be sitting there and this aisle right here sucks. <laughs> so, uh, so just click on that point. Got to make sure I'm in the selection mode. So click on that point, this one right here, this little tail, and then just hit the minus button. and That'll get rid of these little tails. It's not that big of a deal if you overdraw. Because you're going to go back and audit your lines, hopefully. And this is not something you want to do when you're in a hurry. So you want to do this when you got time and it's not like five minutes before your game. I think that's where a lot of people go, oh, crap, this is going to take forever. Well, yeah, because you're probably doing it right before your game. So just you know, take your time and you know put a little effort into it, not just slam it in there and say, oh, okay, we're ready. You know That's, that's okay once in a while, but that's not going to work. Okay, so now that, uh, now that we have that all lined out, so I got the bathrooms, got the main room, got the uh, the helm and the navigation, got the cargo area, and I was going to do something about this track here. So I think this is a half wall or some sort of mechanism that helps you slide these things in and out. I don't think I'm going to do anything to them. If if anything, I would put probably a uh, terrain or something, but I don't even need to do that. That's just too complicated. I could draw terrain around these crates if I wanted places for people to hide. Like this might be fuel back here. So I might put, uh, they're stacked on each other. So what I'll probably do is just use the, uh, the ellipse tool. And then I'll use the terrain tool, which is the Christmas tree. And then maybe I'll use the light, the line. It'll be easier. So I'm just going to draw these. In because I think they're taller than a person. Can't really see over them, but there's enough crawl space on top. This would be a perfect place for a face hugger. Is right right where the uh, top of these are. You can stick one up there, and if someone walks in there to look at this stuff. They can thing will come out and get them. I might do that actually. That's a pretty interesting little gadget there. See, this is a uh, some crates, or maybe these are plates that you stick things on and they'll move for you or something and then you got all this cargo it's probably food <laughs> right next to the fuel Isn't that nice yeah i think the rations and the ammunition are over here so the rations are probably these boxes here this is probably ammo and munitions then you down below here i think this is all water yeah this would be water containment so i think what i'm going to do with that water is going to just make one big terrain piece. I don't want to do individual slices. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to start here in this corner and I'm just going to draw this thing out like this. And what I'm saying here is that this is taller than the average bear. So when you, uh, there you go. And then you see this, this kind of followed me and didn't stay where I wanted it to. So I'll just go to the selection tool. And then I'm just going to drag this corner right where I intended to have it. Same with this. So you just got to get used to switching in and out of drawing mode and the select tool. That's all you got to do. That really makes it easier. So there's that. Um, now I'm going to go and mess with the doors. So I want to make sure that the doors have um, some clearance because you can't have... The, the door is cutting through there like that. So what you do is, you know, when you make your door, you slice through it with your with your uh, wall line or your wall tool. And I'm going to go to the line tool and wall. And I'm just going to click on either side of the wall. Or either side of the line. And then what you do is you systematically go through and do them all. So I'm going to do this one too. Double click to end your line. And then I'm going to go to the windows and do the same. Oops. Got to be in the selection tool. Okay, right here. So line tool.
crap. I don't know if I wanted to do that, but we'll find out. So I'm going to go to the selection tool and see if this is going to take this out or not. Yeah, it worked. That's good. So what I did is I took out that that centerpiece, and that's what you do is you go through all your doors and draw the lines in first, and then go back and and take out all the centers. So like this here, same thing. Just click here and here. Double click on the endpoint, and that forms your line. And you got to be careful because I'm in draw mode. So when you're drawing, you don't want to draw more lines. So that one already has a little thing in there. Let's see what else. So we got that. So I'm going to have to go to the other windows down here and the other doorway. Do the same thing. So no panic. Just do it. So up here is the helm. I remember I didn't really have anything window-wise, so we're good there. All right, so, oh, wait, there's a doorway. i got to get this. This is the one of them round doors like you see in sci-fi shows where it kind of swirls open and close, or maybe it slides side to side or up and down. Who knows? Or maybe it's two pieces like you get in other, other movies like Star Trek or something. So now let's see. We got that. We got the middle door. We got the other bathroom door. Not too many windows in the back. All right, so this is the last doorway. Okay, so after you do all the doors, then you will just go to the selection tool, which is the arrow. And I'm left-clicking and just kind of dragging and holding that down. And it will select those three points. And then I just hit the delete key. And it will remove that centerpiece. So I don't have to do anything fancy. Just get rid of that. Just get rid of that little doodad there. So this thing here, same thing. And you just go through and systematically do each thing until you're you're satisfied and you're complete. And then it, it keeps you from having to switch back and forth from tools. That's what takes too long. So once you get more efficient with this, you'll be able to whiz through this stuff a little quicker. And if you're not explaining it like I am right now, you'll, it'll be really fast. So. So if you go through here and just click this and delete it. I'm going to come down to this window down here and get rid of that. There goes that. And then I'm going to go to the center door. Take care of this thing here. Get rid of that center door. Or the wall that intersects that center door. And I think we're good. So we have most of the line of sight done. Let's see. I'm going to come back here and double check these bathrooms. The most important rooms in the whole damn ship is these restrooms here. Got to protect those. They got to be perfect. Otherwise, if there's a leak, uh, forget it. Okay, so that is basically the gist of the line of sight. Not not very compl complicated, but enough to give you the impression of walls. So let's take a look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to play mode. I'm going to enable line of sight, and I'm going to enable the ambient lighting. So what you want to do here is the ambient lighting is outside. So it's kind of a kind of a dazed kind of like, you know, sunrise or sunset. So I'm going to set that, and then I'm going to exclude this big square here from, and, the, and the ship head here from the ambient lighting. So I'm going to go to the ambient lighting, so go to the light bulb, and then go to the sunshine, and right now it's in dark mode. So I want to change that to ambient color. So I'm going to go to like a sunlight or dusk kind of look. That's the look I was actually looking for, which is really nice. And then I want to put the mask on here. And what that does is it's going to let me cover up this area so that the outside light is not bleeding in. 
except for the window might be somewhere where that the light might come in, but we'll see what that looks like shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag this through here and see what we get. So take this and just drag this area because this is going to be the area where the light does not penetrate through as much. And as you can see, it's all blacked out, which is that's exactly what you want, because we're going to place other lights in there. So, And then I'm going to do the little cabin here. So I'm going to do the rectangle first, and then I'll do this edge. So here's a big rectangle. So that will block the light from there. And now I got left is this little piece, so I'll just go and hold down the Alt key. And then I'm just going to trace... Basically, from here to here to here. Here's a little piece. There we go. All right, so the inside of the ship is not receiving outside light unless we open the window or something. I think that'll do it. But Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to play mode, and I'm going to turn off the line of sight for right now and the lighting because I want to work a little bit more in here. So I want to put the natural lighting in here that comes from the uh, – you can kind of see where the lights are because of the reflections. So I want to take and add this as a bright light. So I'm going to come down in here and probably center the light like right in here somewhere. So I'm going to go to the lighting tool and then I want to go to add light. And the beat preset is going to be a probably a lantern. See that's six and twenty five meters. Torches that lamp. I think the lantern is about as close as we're gonna get. So let's do that. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna click right above here, this doorway. And that's going to be the line of sight for this. So I'm going to go to select mode. And to test it, we're going to go to turn on the line of sight. And we're going to turn on the token light. Yeah, so there's our, like our lantern type effect. And that's what the player sees. Frame it on top! Yeah. Stand by All right, so the light. So the light is centered inside that doorway, which is a cool effect. So what I'm going to do is add another light that's going to kind of flood this area. So I want to come down to the lighting tool again and the light tool. And I'm going to place the light above or below this so that it doesn't get contained inside the doorway, hopefully. I might place it on the floor right here. Let's experiment. So here's that light. I don't want to use the, the, the lantern, so I'll use a lamp this time. And a lamp kind of has an off, kind of a yellowish color. So I'm going to change that to my own kind of a very light, it's almost white. 
Matter of fact, I'll use this color picker tool. There we go. Now I'm going to move it. So I'm going to hit the selection tool. About there looks pretty good. All right. So now you can see it kind of has that glow. And then in the cockpit, I'm going to make this glue, this blue ball thing light up. So what I'm going to do with that is kind of give it a little movement. So to do that, I'm going to have to put an effect on it. Before I get carried away. Yeah, there's a little bit of light on top of these so they can see their inventory. So I'll go back to the lighting tool, go back to add light, and it's going to probably be the last color that I used, which is fun. I'm just going to click in these three spots and then once over here. That takes care of that. So that's how it looks in play mode. It's kind of dim. I like that uh, kind of that dirty, dingy kind of sci-fi look to it. So it's pretty cool. So in the cockpit, there's not a whole lot of light, just the, the panels. So I'm going to put a little movement on this navigation globe here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the effects. And I'm going to add an effects layer. So add add effect. It's on its own layer. And then I'm going to select, let's see, I want ocean. And as you can see, it's kind of wobbly all over. We don't want that. And actually, I don't want ocean. I want the, the uh, rain. Or not rain, but water. There we go. That's what I'm more like. So we don't want that all over the whole map. So what you're going to do is add a mask. So I'm going to add a mask, which covers everything, even though there's that wavy line. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to click on the Reveal Area tool. And that's all I'm going to reveal is this little circle here. So what I'm going to do is draw a square first. And then I'm going to take the Alt key and hold down and just kind of trace around by hand, just kind of very slowly and gently and calm. So. Now you can see this big gap here. We don't want that. So there's a blurring tool now that helps take that away. And then you can take the speed and the droplet size down. And the horizontal a little bit and the, make the intensity go up, but you can also just kind of make it wavy. So it has a little bit of movement. So from a distance, it looks like there's something going on there. Perhaps it's the, the readings are getting, who knows. So now what I'm going to do is take and turn the mask down a little. So I want a little bit of definition in there. And then I'm going to take and uh, put a blue light over this. So on this water level, I'm going to put a blue light. So I want to go to the light tool. And I'm going to select the water layer. And then I'm going to pick a color. So this is going to be a kind of a glue, bluish glow, or I can make it a flash, like a, a warning signal. That might be even cooler. I'll, well, I'll just make it a, a, a constant glow. So I'm going to go to the color picker, but I want it to have the qualities of maybe a candle as far as that goes. And then I'm adding this light. It's going to be a candle. And then it's on the water level. 
So then I'm going to take this color here and switch it to like a light blue, or I can use the color picker, select the lighter part of this color. And that's my light. Now I'm going to go back to select, put it on center. See what it looks like. So it just has a real subtle blue glow there. That's pretty cool. All right, so I might do a little bit more of that in the cockpit on the consoles. So there's a blue glow there. So I'm going to go back to this line of sight mode. I'm going to turn that off temporarily so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to place a little bit of a this blue glow in other places. So here we still have this blue color, and it's still basically the candlelight. Damn. He's absolutely right. Okay, so let's see. Now we have some more blue glow. And I'm going to go back to the select mode so I don't accidentally add more. And then I'm going to change this to back to this preview mode. Oh yeah, that's cool. There. And what makes it cooler is that this thing is moving. And the, the flicker from it kind of gives it that candlelight flicker for the cockpit. That's really cool. This light here, I don't like the way it looks. So if you want to change something, you got to go into select mode, going back to the lighting tool. And I'm going to select this particular deal here. And I'm going to change this. So I want this to go 15 meters. And then this, I will make the fall off at probably 35. And I'm going to. There we go. Just at 20. Well, I got to make sure that I'm in that. There we go. I don't want that. To Dang it. Oh. Okay, start over. So. I want a light here, but I don't want it to be a small spotlight. So go to add light and change the color back to the same color as this doorway. So go to the eyedropper and just click on this. So our color back, hit OK. And I want that thing to be about here. And that's the candle, so don't want candles. What are we doing here? We want a light spell. Yeah, that's more like it. So I'm going to select this other one. And then I'm going to select this one and move it out. Center it just a touch. Maybe I'll put one up here and go back to the light tool and I will put another one, like maybe it's track lighting on the ceiling. Put one there and I don't like how bright that is, so I'm going to back by selecting it. It's kind of dragging it back here. So there's going to be 
two lights above that are illuminating this area. I think by having this here, it's kind of a good thing. And then I think I'll have one more in the back somewhere. So let's see what that looks like. So we're going to go to the lighting tool again and selection mode. And I want to take this one and you can duplicate it. So I'm going to click on duplicate layer and then I'm going to be in select mode. So all I got to do is drag it over, drop it. Selection mode, add over, and these two I'm going to get rid of. There we go. That looks pretty cool. You got, you know, some of this area lit up. This area is lit up from the natural lighting from the cargo. That's pretty cool. So now I want to put a warning signal somewhere. Probably in the cargo bay. It's probably a breach or something going on. So what I'm going to do is just put like a red pulsing light in the center here. So that'll be fun. It'll look kind of cool too, kind of bring this thing to life. Uh, where the smoke is, I can actually put an effect on there to make it give it a little bit of movement. We'll see. So now this is the, uh, the cargo area. I'm going to put a red warning light here, kind of like you see in the movie. So again, I'm going to go to lights. Actually, I want a different layer because it's going to be a different type of light. So to get out of a layer, you just click somewhere else. And and then I want to lock these so I don't move them. And then um, what I'm going to do is click in the center here once I get the light figured out. So for a preset, I'm going to go with a light spell and then behavior. I want a pulse, and then the speed is kind of a slower speed, and then I want to change the color to like a reddish color, like a reddish orange almost. Let's see what we that. Hit OK. And now I'm going to click somewhere on the map, and hopefully, yep, there we go. So there's our warning light. And now I want to select it, and I'm going to move it back closer to the exit. And I'm going to put another one over here. So those are the warning lights. So they, they could mean a lot of different things. But basically, that they're pulsing. They're saying, hey, there's you know intruder, or maybe the uh, cargo's not secure anymore. Or perhaps there's some aliens crawling around back there. We'll see. So we got some different types of lighting in here, which is really cool. I like it. So now we have kind of a more of a an actual gaming kind of ship where we can use it for for, for game table time. And when we want to preview um, what the players see, this is what the players see. So when they're on this token, unless they have a a HUD or or some kind of special lighting map, then that's what they're going to see. So it's got this glowing door or window. I never did check the window, so I'm going to go over to this window over here. And let's go on and see. Site enable. Okay. So this was supposed to be a window. I don't know if that uh, mask broke it or what. So let me go to this line of sight here. Yeah, it's, it's a window, all right. So let's see what's going on with that. So I want to come back here and I'm supposed to be able to click on that. I think it's because, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too worried, but that was supposed to be a window, but it doesn't look like it's really a window. If it is, it's closed, so it doesn't matter. So that's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to come back here and work with the exhaust. So this is hard baked into the image. I can't do much with it. But if I want to make it look like it's moving a little bit, I can take and go to the effects mode. And I can take another layer. And I will make this the water layer again. So 
this will be water. And then I'll put the mask on it. And then I'm going to take and turn this stuff down so it's not too crazy. And then I'm just going to trace kind of in the inside of the smoke where the darker smoke is or the steam or whatever this is. So I want to hit the, uh, I'm going to use the Alt key and just going to freehand it. So you have to hold down to the Alt key. And I'm just going to kind of draw inside of here. I don't want to go right to the edge, but I want to get some of this stuff so it looks like there's actually a layer in here. And as you can see, it's already looking like it's moving, which is kind of cool. I'm going to do the same thing down there. I'm going to blur it a little bit. Same thing. I'm just going to draw this in. Hopefully, kind of give it a little bit more of a look to it. Okay, that just barely... Barely gave it anything, but it really helps the propellant look. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another effect. So again, I'm going to add an effect layer. And this time, instead of using the, the water, I'm going to use the mist. And you can see the mist kind of going over the top. So we can keep that, actually, because it kind of looks like the atmosphere on, was that RV76? I don't know. I don't remember the name of the planet, but... It turned that down a little bit and turned the speed down just a little. And you get that illusion that there's some kind of atmosphere above it, which is kind of cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. And this one is going to be underneath this layer, but this one is going to be, uh, oh, we want clouds. Okay. I need to fix the mist layer first. So I want to go to that and I'm going to change the direction so it's actually going the correct way. And I'm going to put the mask on it. And then I'm just going to draw with the Alt key stuff here to reveal the mist that's coming out of the back of these things. And the Blend Blur tool. That gives it a little bit more movement. Same thing with this. I'm going to draw this out a little bit more. And I'm drawing on top of that other layer, so that's fine. Okay, so you can barely tell because it's in the confines here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn it up a hair. And then blend it. Or blur it, whatever, so. Yep. And then turn the intensity down a little bit and the speed. There we go. So that gives a little bit of an illusion of that that's actually smoky or steam or whatever. And now for the top, I'm going to put clouds. So I'm going to add another layer. And this is going to be clouds. And then what I'm going to do is put a mask on it. And I only want the clouds around the ship. So I'm going to hide, or excuse me, reveal in this case. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Turn down the uh, intensity a little bit. Yeah. So I think that looks pretty darn good. So you get the impression that the ship is moving. If you really want something cool, that uh, a cool effect that I found was uh, put two clouds together and have them go two different directions. So I might do that since this is going this way. There we go. There we go. So that makes it look like the ship is moving kind of because you got this stuff coming out and then this is going the opposite direction. 
So it gives you the impression that it's going kind of faster than it really is. There we go. Yep. So the clouds are on the top layer. So that's just so you don't. I'm going to lock all this stuff up so you don't mess it up. So now you're ready to rock. So you're going to go into play mode, turn on the party vision or whatever, and then you can see the warning lights are on, and everything seems to be hunky-dory. And here's the cockpit that's like blue and dark in there. That's kind of cool. So yeah, that's uh, basically working on a sci-fi map in the Alien rule set. So this is uh this map is a little big for Fantasy Ground, so if you're gonna use maps, try to get them a little bit smaller. This one's pretty big. And then of course we got our little space marine there in the background. And then I save the best for last. So we have this alien looking guy. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. It just dawned on me how terrifying walking through a ship could be with the light effects of FGU and a dark vision. Yeah, no doubt. That's that's true. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I just wanted to check out the light tools in different ways and in different rule sets so I have a little bit of familiarity of what to expect. Kind of enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. So take care, everybody. Good night. Happy gaming. And we'll see you around. And don't forget that this month is Pathfinder 2 month. So if you are out there and you're bored, come on into the college if you're into Pathfinder and check it out. I'll have some classes and maybe a symposium at the end of the month and some. Um, I'm going to do a map.